Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing the amazing Spider-Man Mayfex action figure, the comic book version. I've been waiting to get to this one, so make sure you stay tuned. So welcome back my people, I've been waiting to get to this one. I missed out when it first came out and I was able to grab it on its second time coming out. So I was very excited to grab it. I heard a lot of great reviews from people talking about how dope this toy was. So I figured, hey, why not scoop it up? So this will be the unboxing. The amazing Spider-Man Mayfex action figure. So let me not hold you up anymore and let's get to this toy. So let's get them out the way. So, this is everything that comes with them. Comes with two heads, one Peter Parker without the mask, then one Spider-Man mask. And then he comes with, what, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hands, eight extra hands, and two feet, and then a whole bunch of spider webbing, and a pair of the hands and a pair of the feet. The pair of the feet have magnets on it so you can magnetize those to some metal and have Spider-Man actually stick. So let me get you close to Spider-Man real quick so that you get your close up. And if you didn't get a chance, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys keep up because I will be showing unboxing and showing you guys the fake versus real on this action figure within the couple days after the release of this one. So, so far I've heard so many good things about this action figure. And from the looks of it, he looks dope and I can understand just by messing around with him a little bit with the articulation of him. So, let's start with the articulation. I'll go head up. His head up is real good. Granted, you can see his little neck right there. So that's him looking up, then him looking down. And you can actually bend the neck, so that's him looking down. You can bend the neck too. So what I mean by that is the head bends and then the neck moves around real nice. That's why I love Mayfax toys. So then we'll move to the arms, which has a chest piece right there that moves in and out then the shoulder and then the bicep moves around then the elbow he could touch his face so that's real nice that's his elbow going in that's beautiful then the wrist all around has a joint in the middle so you can do really whatever with the fist or with the hand sorry so this side is the same this is him bending out. So, him going up, down. Then you have the ab piece right here. And it moves around real nice. I'm not having no stiffness, nothing that feels like it's going to break. Then we have the waist right here. The waist moves real nice. Then we got him doing the splits, which Spider Man should definitely be able to do the splits. Then we have the knee joint, and that's a beautiful look. You can go see, and that's why people love it, because you can, ah, oh, that's great. So it has it where you can bend all the way back, then touch his back. So that's great for the knee. And then we have the ankle, same thing, it's on a ball joint. So that's real nice for when you're posing him. So he's definitely a nice stiff figure. I don't have I'm not having no issues with him whatsoever. Like I didn't find one issue with him so far. So let me bring you close in on the head. This is the Spider-Man head that it comes with. The extra Spider-Man head that it comes with and then he comes with a Peter Parker head 
No mask. Can't wait to unbox the fake one. See how different they are. I already see plenty of differences in them. So I'll definitely be going through that in the next couple days. And then we have the web shooter. One of the web shooters. Oh, comes with this. This one. This web. A smaller one. I like it. They got all different sizes of them. So that's real nice. Size. Then smaller. Just so it can come out of both hands. And then this long one. So those are the pieces that come with it. And then he comes with a mask that he can hold on to. And I just dropped it. You get a chance, subscribe right now while I'm picking this up. <laughs> there we go. Then I don't know if you guys are interested in the Ninja Turtles, the GameStop Ninja Turtles, but I'll be doing an unboxing of the fake verse reel on those too. So these are the feet, extra feet that it comes he comes with. And sorry on the other on the that one I didn't get to show you the toe, so the toe moves up like that. Same thing on that, no different. But these ones are magnetized. So that'll be dope for me to try building a diorama and I'm gonna add some metal to the diorama to make it look like he's actually floating. And then I'll take you guys through the hands real quick, even though there's a lot of them. So the first two hands that I'll show you are the two magnetized hands. So that's how it looks. So it'd be holding on the wall like that. Both of them are the same. Then we have these two hands. Just really a grabbing the wall type hands. Then we have two fists. Let me see real quick. Sorry, guys. So those are the two fists. Just regular Spider-Man fists. Then this is, I got two, there's two of these right and left to hold on to the rope. The spider web, sorry. And then there's the two shooting web hands. So, real dope action figure, man. We're messing around with it. I'm going to definitely mess around with it more. But definitely going to go through the unboxing of the fake versus the real. And this one is definitely going to be a nice one to pose and set up a diorama for. So far, I've been loving the Mafex action figures. They've been real dope. And this one just added to the line. So the, this was a definitely nice grab. I don't know if they're going to be repeating and coming out with some more of this one once it sells out. I don't know how Mafex does it. I'll try figuring out, but definitely keep a lookout because I'll be showing this bad boy. And this is the fake version. And I'll be showing you guys what to look for so you don't get scammed and you don't get played. So until next time, man, like always, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys look out for my 1,000 subscriber contest. And I also, after that, will be having a tour contest to tour the whole shop. And I will talk about it more then, but I will be giving away some great prizes. So make sure you guys keep up with the collection dimension. Until next time, this was the Collector's Review, and I'm out. Peace.